نظران ام سيود ام شيري نم بي اتنب ما اث اواب نوت يونوت امين نصري نام اذاتي in this episode we're going to continue uh, the expression of time and when you say what time is it uh, or year see how we uh, express this and <coughs> here in the last part of the episode we're discussing uh, the uh, expression of Hashi Reishomt and Reif2 which stands for Ufashi half hour which is 30 minutes Reishomt it's one third this is 20 minutes and Reif2 one fourth which is 15 minutes uh, so here we're going to take examples of the uh, different uh, times uh, so here uh, we're going to say three o'clock and five minutes three and five minutes so as we mentioned in the last episode three should be expressed in the feminine form so it's shomki and then the five minutes it's five is at you so and here we don't say the hour we only say shomki name at you and susu we say the word minutes which is susu so it's shomti nam at you and susu when somebody asks who is the agpti agpti shomti nam at you and susu here it's 11 and 15 minutes the 15 minutes is one quarter so you can say we can express both way either say 11 and 15 minutes or 11 and quarter so if we're going to say 11 and 15 minutes so it's me t-o-we this is 11 name meet at you and so so meet at you which is 15 this is the 10 and the 5 so me t-o-we now meet at you and so so 11 and 15 minutes or we can express it with a quarter so it is me t-o-we namre f2 me t-o-we namre f2 this means 11 and quarter this year here it is 1 and 25 minutes. So it is Owi, which is 1. Name, good at you. Good at you is 25. And Susu. So it is Owi, name, good at you. And Susu. Owi, name, good at you. And Susu. 1 and 25 minutes. Here it is uh, 7.30. When you want 7.30, you can say it two ways. Here are 7 and 30 minutes. Or seven and a half. So seven is shashfi, which is the feminine for shashf, shashfi. The map in susu. Map is 30. So it's shashfi, the map in susu. Seven and 30 minutes. Or you can say it is seven and a half. So it's shashfi, nem ofashi. Shashfi, nem ofashi means seven and a half. Half hour means. This one here, it is 10. 10. And this one is 820. Okay. With the 8, with the 10, 10, there's only one way of saying it, which is 10 and 10 minutes. It's meaty, na meat and susu. Meaty, which is the feminine for meat, because it's the hour always feminine. And here it's the minutes masculine, meat. So it's meaty, name meat and susu. Meat, meaty, na meat and susu. This one, which is 820, can be said in two ways, either 8 and 20 minutes or 8 and one third. 8 and 20 minutes it will be shmini which is the feminine for shmin shmini namgut in susu which is 8 and 20 minutes this one it's 8 and one third so it will be shmini namre shomt shmini namre shomt I'll say it one more time shmini namgut in susu or shmini namre shomt uh, here <coughs> it is five to seven, five minutes before seven. So we use here a veal. So we use shashfi, a veal at you in susu. Shashfi, a veal at you, which has been seven less five minutes. Shashfi, a veal at you in susu. This one it is twelve uh, forty-five, or we can say it. One less 15 minutes, or one 
less one quarter. So <coughs> uh, one less 15 minutes, it will be Owi, which is one, Evil, meet at you in Susu. Owi, Evil, meet at you in Susu. One less 15 minutes. Or one less one quarter, Owi, Evil, Re F2. Owi, Evil, Re F2. Here, <coughs> uh, 10 minutes to two, it will be a snooty, which is the feminine of snap, snooty, a veal meat in susu. And this one, 20 minutes before four. So it is a veal all, all the way through, but here you can say four less 20 minutes or four less one third. So if it is four less 20 minutes, it will be f 2 a veal good in susu. f 2 a a veal good in susu, it is four less 20 minutes. Or if two a a veal re shunt, which is four less one third. This one is the uh, uh, last slide in this session. If two a nem shashf in susu, which is four and seven minutes. If two a nem shashf in susu, four and seven minutes. Here it is ten thirty five. So you can either say meet oui a veal good at you in susu. Or meeti nemap et you in susu. We're, to, we're going to take a little break, we'll and we'll be back, back in a minute. Enough again, Namavati, we are back, and we are continuing with the time. And here we started discussing uh, this one, which when we say four hours and six minutes, it's four o'clock and seven minutes. Uh, so we can say it four and seven minutes. So if two a, which is the feminine of two, nimshashf in susu, two a nimshashf in susu. This one here is a little bit complicated, and it is ten thirty-five, ten thirty-five. So we can either say it is ten and thirty-five minutes, or eleven less twenty-five minutes. If we so. So if we want to say 11 less 25 minutes, so it is here, meeti owi, which is 11. Evil good at you, this is 25, it's good at you, good at you in susu. 11 less 25 minutes. Here or we can say it is 10 and 35 minutes. So it's meeti nemap at you in susu. Meeti nemap at you in susu, 10 and 35 minutes. <clears throat> so now you, you can tell all the different times very easy. Say, for example, let's take a little example here. If I want to say 4 and 10, 4 o'clock and 10 minutes, it is going to be if 2 a name meet in susu. Name meet in susu. How about 4 and a half? So you say if 2 a name ofashi. Or what's the other way of saying four and a half? Thirty minutes. See if, if two a name map and susu. So uh, you can exercise all these uh, different times and try to say all kinds of times. Um, here we're going to review back some of the old material that we took before, so you can remember it and say it. When the question is name pay phi, which means who is this? Who is this? This you are pointing to a person. So you say name pay phi. You can say I have here like four different examples. Phi pay person emerit. What's person? Person means my brother. My brother. Phi pay person emerit. Emerit means beloved. So this is my beloved brother. Phi P, Pason, and Marie. Uh, how about if you want to say, this is my beloved son? It would be Phi P, Pashiri, and Marie, and so on. You can practice these things. <clears throat> how about this and here, this here? A woman saying that this is my husband, David. Phi P, Pahai, which is her husband, David. Phi P, Pahai, David. Or Phi P, Pahai, David. In Coptic, this pronounced David. So Phi P Bahai David. Or Phi P if need Marcus. What's if need? We mentioned this before. If need if need means Mr. Mr. 
5P, if need, Marcos. This is Mr. Uh, Marcos. Or 5P, Pashiri, Mina. This is my son, Mina. So you can practice Neem, P, Phi, and then you put Phi, P, and all the different kinds. This one, for a feminine, is Neem, P, Phi. Neem, P, Phi. Who is this for the feminine? Phi, P, Pashiri, Emerit. This is my beloved daughter. Pasheri means daughter. Fai te tamav. What does this mean? This is my mom. Fai te tamav. O fai te efni marina. This is Mrs. Marina. The, the, the fai te efni. It is like efni, but this has the feminine uh, definite article here, efni. Fai te efni marina. This you say it for. Uh, any lady, if need, Marina. Faite Tasoni Virina. This is my sister, Virina. Tasoni, which is sister. Okay, now we're going to start a new subject. And this subject are the verbs and how we construct the verbs. And uh, there's a comparison between English and Coptic. <coughs> In English, when you go from one tense to the other, you change the verb itself. For example, uh, here, like, I understand, this is in the present tense. In the past tense, it's going to be, I understood. So you change the shape of the verb itself, it's changed. In the future, you will add will here, so you change the verb uh, structurally. You add another part. So it is, I understand, for, for the present tense, I understood, for past tense, I will understand for future. In Coptic, we don't touch the verb. We touch this prefix at the end. It's like the I here. In the Coptic, that's what we change. We don't change. The verb is the same. Understand in Coptic is kati. So if I want to say, I understand, it is ti kati. If I want to say, I understood, I don't change the kati into a different thing. I change the I. Instead of T, it becomes I. So I, kati, means I understood. I will understand, it will be T, na, kati. As you can see, kati is the same in all three cases. It did not change. We did not add anything to the verb. But what we change is this, what we call the prefix, the verbal prefix. For the present, it is T. For the uh, past, it is I. For the future, T. Na. Uh, we will uh, then, after that, continue in the next episode. And for this episode, Mugai uh, Namavati, and we'll see you in the next episode.